Hi. Hi. Good That's morning. what comes first. Hello. Welcome to Daily Office. It is Tuesday. And this is Pastor Kurt. Oh. And I'm Elizabeth. And we're getting started here with Numbers chapter 11. What she said. I'm going to start with verse 4 and wrap it up around verse 16 or 17-ish. We'll see what happens. The rabble with them began to crave other food, and again the Israelites started wailing and said, If only we had meat to eat. We remember the fish we ate in Egypt at no cost. Also the cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions, and garlic. I mean, hey, they had free food. Why not, right? Because they were slaves. <laughs> well, yeah, they sort of skipped that part in this complaining. <laughs> free food! Slavery, on the other hand, you know. Oops. Okay, sorry about that. But now we have lost our appetite. We never see anything but this manna. The manna was like coriander seed and looked like resin. The people went around gathering it, then ground it in a hand mill or crushed it in a mortar. They cooked it in a pot or made it into cakes, and it tasted like something made with olive oil. When the dew settled on the camp at night, the manna also came down. Moses heard the people of every family wailing each at the entrance to his tent. The Lord became exceedingly angry and Moses was troubled. He asked the Lord, why have you brought this trouble on your servant? What have I done to displease you that you put the burden of all these people on me? Did I conceive all these people? Did I give them birth? Why do you tell me to carry them in my arms as a nurse carries an infant to the land you promised <coughs> excuse me, on oath to their forefathers? Where can I get meat for all these people? They keep wailing to me. Give us meat to eat. I cannot carry all these people by myself. The burden is too heavy for me. If this is how you're going to treat me, put me to death right now. If I have found favor in your eyes, and do not let me face my own ruin. The Lord said to Moses, Bring me seventy of Israel's elders who are known to you as leaders and officials among the people. Have them come to the tent of meeting, that they may stand there with you. I will come down and speak with you there, and I will take of the spirit that is on you, and put the spirit on them. They will help you carry the burden of the people, so that you will not have to carry it alone. This is the word of God. Jesus people of God let's say thanks be to God and I don't know why the dog always waits until like we get started and then he decides to lick my hand while we're getting ready he, he's play. getting it nice and ready to play guitar yeah that's not <laughs> so later on in the passage the 70 elders come and and Moses and they start prophesying but two of them had stayed behind in the camp and they were prophesying in the camp instead of where Moses was and Moses' servant Joshua, the son of Nun, uh, says, you want me to go and stop them? And Moses is like, no, <laughs> I would like them, I'd like everybody to receive the spirit. I want everybody to, to lead this way. So, um, but, it, the, and that's sort of as we were heading here into Lent, Joel chapter 2 is, is the passage that is most often done on Lent, and it's a, a passage that reminds us of the Spirit of God descending upon all flesh, and uh, everybody has access to God, and God wants people to come and be a part of the people of God. So, yeah. It's not about free food? It's not about free food. Because it wasn't really free when they were slaves. No. They didn't no. have to pay for it, but they also no. didn't get paid to work. Well, oh, I wish I had the free food and the risk of having a whip taken to my back. Yeah, they sort of forgot that part. Yeah. I tend to remember things better yeah. than they actually were. Yeah, we often do. So, What are um, we singing today? We're singing, Spirit of God, descend upon my heart. There's the chords. Right, I'm going to hold this and not have the dog crash into That'll it. That would be awesome. <laughs> wish me luck. Spirit of God, descend upon my heart. Wean it from earth, through all its pulses move. Stoop to my weakness, mighty as thou art, and make me love thee as I am.
So I pray that God's Spirit will descend upon each of you today and help you to have the best life available to you today. Sounds good. I don't have anything and to add. And tomorrow, we will shovel out a lot of snow. Yay! God bless you. Thanks Happen. for joining us. Have a great Tuesday. Bye. Stay warm. Stay have fun good. digging out. Yay! <laughs> God bless you. We'll see you. Somebody will see you on Wednesday. And Gandy Ewing will be seeing you on Ooh, Wednesday. That'll be fun. Yeah. All right. Cool.